YouTube. So, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be giving you guys a surrogacy update. So, we're just going to be talking about where I'm at in my surrogacy journey. And then also, <clears throat> oh no, not also. I wanted to uh, introduce myself for those of you who are new to my channel. Uh, my name is Rayma Freeman and I am a surrogate mother. This is my second journey and I want you guys to come with me on this journey. Also, I talk about other things like, I mean, or I do other videos like grocery hauls, cleaning videos, like family related content basically, uh, try on hauls and stuff like that for my kids. And yeah, so let's just get right into it. So I'm just gonna give you a really quick disclaimer. I'm gonna be talking about everything to do with surrogacy, which includes fertility and pregnancy and periods and cycles, hormones and stuff like that. So if you are not a fan of that kind of conversation, you can um, skip it or, you know, whatever you wanna do is fine with me. I'm not gonna tell you what to do. <laughs> Um, so yeah, back to the show or back to the conversation. Well, I have been at a stalemate in my surrogacy journey. Uh, okay, so I think I don't remember where I left off with you guys on what I was doing. I think it was the canceled uh, cycle that I had last was the last thing. So after my canceled cycle, they put me on Pavera so I could get my period to start. And I did that for five days, I think. And then my period came, normal period. Yeah, and then after that, I had another regular period, I think, didn't I? No, I didn't. After that Provera period, shoot, I think I did have another period. Or it was the month before that. I don't know. I think I might have had a period in between. And um, now we were waiting for my period to come back again so we could start medication. And it never came. It's been almost two weeks now since I've had um, since my period has been late. So what the clinic is gonna do is have me today right now. I'm going. Oh, let me take. Turn that off. Going to the clinic to. Sorry, not going to the clinic, going to get labs drawn. They're gonna do a pregnancy test, which I know is gonna be negative, um, and then test my hormone levels to see what's going on in there. And then also they're going to do an ultrasound today to see what's looking like inside and see what's going on so we could figure out like what needs to be done. And I am freaking out a little bit because I'm worrying that I'm not gonna be able to do this surrogacy journey. Like I'm feeling like, what is gonna happen if this is the end of the road for me? Like they find something wrong and they're like, mm, we don't suggest that you do another pregnancy. So I'm kind of low key stressing out so bad and just waiting because my period every day I wake up and I'm like, nope, no period, nope, no period. So it's been super frustrating. It's been a month now or like the extra two weeks that I've been just like sitting here waiting, 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 praying for my period to start and it's never starting. <laughs> so, I mean, I am a firm believer in the timing of God and his plan. And so I'm trying to keep it like chill and know that like whatever happens is meant to happen. And just like keeping my mind away from like negative talk. I did have a couple like really dark days when I was just like, What's the point of it all? I can't do this. What's wrong with my body? But I've come to the other side of that, thank goodness. I mean, I still feel like crap, kind of, because I know all those hormones and all that stuff that needs to be shed away in my uterus is not coming away and it's not going away. So right now I'm headed over to the labs. As soon as I get my results, I'm obviously going to share it with you guys and let you know what's going on. My body's like trying to find its equilibrium and it's just like having a hard time getting back to a regular cycle because I am used to being on birth control and then you know like immediately get my period after I take the three weeks of active pills. I've been doing that for a long time so now my body is just like like what do you want me to do? <laughs> uh, so I think I really did get jacked up by all the medications that I took and um, the one especially that induced a anything like this happening so I don't know what's going on. 
and downs and just like twists that you never expected. My last um, surrogacy journey was nothing like this. It was very smooth. Everything happened the way it should have, like the first transfer happened. I was pregnant, it was easy, it was smooth. This time around is taking a long time. So I'm having a lot of, not a lot of issues, but I'm having like stupid little issues and things like popping up like that. My blood work getting jacked up by the last people who did it and uh, throwing me off of being able to get my transfer done. So, you know, I'm just trying to hang in there. I'm trying to hang on to this roller coaster with my life. Um, and in maybe coming up here, I'll do a video of my why. Like why I decided to be a surrogate. Why I'm putting myself through all of this. So that you guys can understand like kind of where I'm coming from in my journey. I know everybody's journey is going to be different. And you guys, everybody has their own whys for choosing to be a surrogate. But I think that's a very important thing to look back on when things get hard. Like why am I doing this? What am I doing this for? Why did I want to be a surrogate in the first place? So when it gets tough in your surrogacy journey, you go back to that why. And you remind yourself. And then you stick to the course. So hopefully I'll have a good update for you. I'm feeling at this point, be it that I can't be a surrogate or if I do get to keep being a surrogate, either way, I'm going to be good. I just have to figure out like a different route for my life and what I want my future to look like. Because this journey is all-encompassing, really, your whole life. It becomes this journey. So if I'm not going to be on this journey anymore, then I have to switch lanes, basically, and figure out a new direction for my life, which I don't necessarily want to do, but I, you know, may not have a choice. So I'll keep you guys updated and let you know how this goes. Pray for me. Cross your fingers for me. Whatever you do, whatever. <laughs> Send me good vibes. I need them all right now. Thank you guys for listening and I will talk to you guys soon. Hi YouTube. So we're back with the update for you. Juliet is joining me in this video. Like and subscribe everybody. You want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> So, okay, where I left off is I was going to um, the blood work place to get my blood work done to see what was going on and also getting an ultrasound. So the results came back and my estrogen, my estrogen was high and it was elevated. And also Wait, Mom, my progesterone was something. like good. Yes. Are you guys going to go to a Halloween party today? They said yes. No, oh, okay. <laughs> okay so um they were elevated sorry I got, but um those hormones were elevated so and then my um uterus looked good the lining was very thick like like I was gonna have a period like at any time and so they told me they were gonna give me the trigger shot they ordered me the trigger shot from the pharmacy to get here today which it did today is Saturday by the way and when I had my blood work done uh fruit I forgot when that was Wednesday. I had it on Wednesday. So um, they ordered me to do the trigger shot. I would have started it today. And then um, that would have triggered me to ovulate. And then I would have had my period like a week later or two weeks later. So anyways, what ended up happening is today I wake up and I had started my period. I was like, are you serious body? Like, uh, oh my gosh, I'm just like, so we're back on track. Um, I told, I let my fertility clinic know they are out for the weekend. So they'll talk to me on monday and we'll get everything started and i was just like oh my gosh like my body like when it doesn't do what it's supposed to do it really feel like you've been betrayed <laughs> so we're back on track though what's going to happen is they'll send me my new calendar i'll start medication and we'll have a transfer soon like uh, maybe in a month so i'm just so happy to be moving forward i'm so happy that my period finally started but it has been acting weird like it ugh. I've like this has been so stressful this last like two months since the other since the canceled um, medication cycle. So I'm just so happy that hopefully we're moving forward. Hopefully everything goes good and my body gets with the program. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for watching and I will be talking to you soon. I'll see you guys next weekend. Have a great weekend. Bye. Bye.